My name is Maureen McGeehan. I'm the executive director of the Lower Marion Conservancy. The Conservancy is a member-supported nonprofit organization that focuses its mission on the conservation of open spaces, the health of the local watershed, and the preservation of the community's historic character. I appreciate the opportunity to provide comments about an issue of enormous concern to the Conservancy and to the public. That is the interest of the school district in condemning all or part of Stonely. The Conservancy holds the conservation easement on the entire 42-acre Stonely property. This easement was put in place by the Haas family and natural lands in 1996 and transferred to the Conservancy in 2016 when natural lands assumed ownership of Stonely. The Conservancy is proud to be entrusted with the permanent conservation of this property. The conservation of Stonely is an enormous achievement realized initially through the astoundingly generous gift of the Haas family and then through the work over many years by dedicated partners. Stonely's permanent preservation represents an extraordinary act of goodwill by many stakeholders. The Conservancy vigorously objects to the, any efforts by the district to condemn part or all of this property. Stonely is a model for our community. It demonstrates how significant open spaces and historic properties can be viably and resp responsibly stewarded into the future for the benefit of the public. Stonely's conservation easement, which encumbers the entire 42-acre property, is intended to ensure that members of the public, near and far, will always be able to experience, learn from, and enjoy this natural garden. The 6.9-acre area of Stonely that the district has identified as a possible acquisition site is not a separate parcel. It is wholly part of the 42-acre easement and is contained within the free public preserve. Just like all areas of the property, it has significant conservation value. The condemnation of part or all of Stonely will test the will of the public to donate open space for the benefit of the public. It, was, it will also undermine the ability of many municipalities like Lower Marion to advance one of their primary land use goals, which is to preserve the character of their communities by permanently protecting public and private land. The Conservancy urges the district to uphold the value of a conservation easement, a universally, universally recognized strategy for preserving open space and abandon its consideration of exercising eminent domain. Thank you. My name is Kathleen Aplanov. I live in Wynwood, and my children attend the district's public schools. I am here, however, tonight as the Director of Historic Preservation, representing the Lower Marion Conservancy, the easement holder of Stonely. The Conservancy acknowledges the challenges associated with locating a suitable site for a new middle school. We would, however, like to address some of the confusion and clarify some facts about certain properties, namely Claremont and St. Charles Borromeo, that the district has identified as potential sites. Recently, the district issued a statement noting that the Historical Commission recommended Class 1 designation for Claremont only after the district expressed an interest in using 6.9 acres of Stonely for athletic fields. This is true. What the district did not include in its statement, which went out to the families of Lower Marion Public School students, was information about the township process for designating historic properties. This information is extremely important because it affirms that the township recommendation process is transparent and public, and that it began before the district publicly expressed interest in the recommended properties. The process, in fact, started in October 2014 when the Board of Commissioners and the Historical Commission held a joint workshop to discuss protecting highly significant properties. In 2016, a consultant began the process of surveying approximately 30 properties to determine their eligibility for a start designation. These properties, including Claremont and St. Charles Borromeo, represent some of the most historically and architecturally significant properties in Lower Marion. 
the consultant and the Pennsylvania State Historic Preservation Office each indiv independently verified that these properties are eligible for listing on the National Register of Historic Places, the nation's list of outstanding historic properties. Shortly after this, the Conservancy did invite the district to discuss the land development process. I'm sorry that you didn't get that letter. I would be very happy to resend it um, to talk about the sensitive use of Claremont should the district decide to build a school there. The Conservancy continues to believe that adaptive reuse, a strategy recommended in the comprehensive plan, should be part of discussions relating to school expansion. The district has not provided the public with any confidence except for its word that adaptive reuse should not be part of the discussions. Lower Marion's historic properties, and especially those that the Board of Commissioners has spent several years considering for historic designation, deserve this consideration. Thank you very much. So once again, we did not receive your letter and we appreciate receiving it. We also have clarified multiple times this evening that we were aware of the actual process and were told by township staff in January 2018 when we specifically asked where they were in the process that in fact it was on hold. That was our understanding. It was the last conversation we had about it with the township staff was it was on hold. Mr. Copeland went out saying that we were potentially, it was back on our list of possible sites, assuming we could get the 6.9 acres at Stoneley, and that was when we heard again that it was no longer on hold. So we are well aware of the long process, but we were specifically told that it was on hold. The other issue is we went out again at this meeting to talk about why it was that we could not use the building at the Islamic Center in terms of adaptive reuse. We are, we are continuing to inform the commissioners and the township staff about that as well as the public.